We've got our home media server set up. It's currently running on a Raspberry Pi and it works amazing. We can watch any TV show or movie from any device within our household, but that's the problem. We can only access it from our local area network. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can access your home media server from anywhere in the world. That way you can watch all of your favorite shows and movies while you're on the commute to work or on holidays or just out and about outside of the house. During my research of how to achieve this, I initially came across something called Nginx Proxy Manager, which is something that allows you to expose certain web services to the public internet and connect to it. The only issue is you had to install, configure, set up DNS, do port forwarding, get a static IP address, do SSL sets, and a bunch more. It was way too complicated. So in today's video, we're going to try an alternative, which is a VPN solution using Tailscale. It looks incredibly straightforward and I bet you we could set it up within a couple of minutes. So let's jump into it. I currently have the quick start guide up as well as a remote desktop connection into my Raspberry Pi, which is running our home media server. So we're going to go ahead and start the timer to see how long this takes. We're going to click on download tailscale. Because we're running Linux, we're going to click on Linux and copy this command, head over to our shell terminal window and paste that in. That's gonna download a bunch of things in the background. Now my internet is very slow, so while we wait for that, we're gonna do the same thing on our mobile phone. I'm gonna head over to the Play Store and search for Tailscale. This is the application you want. I'm gonna simply click Install. Once that's finished installing, open up the application, click on Get Started, sign in with Google, and choose your account. You can sign in with other providers. I'm just choosing Google because it's easier. It's going to ask you if you want to set up a VPN connection, click OK, and you're done. Your phone is now connected to your Tailscale VPN. If we go back to the quick start guide and click on login, again, we're going to log in with Google. Make sure you log in with the same account for the entire setup. We can now see that my Sony phone is connected to the VPN. Now let's go back to our Raspberry Pi. Okay, that's finished downloading. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that command, sudo tail scale up. This has generated a URL for us to open up. So we're gonna copy this, open up a web browser, paste that in. And again, we're gonna sign with Google Use the same account, click connect, and we are done. In two and a half minutes, we were able to set up a Tailscale VPN connecting both our home media server and our mobile phone. Now let me show you how this works. If we wanna access our home media server, first I'm gonna go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi off so we're only using our mobile data. Now normally if I go into my media server app, for me I'm using Jellyfin, it won't work. However, because we're connected to our Tailscale VPN, I can open up Jellyfin. For my server, we are going to enter in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. And there we have it. We can now access all of our movies, TV shows, and anime from anywhere in the world. This was incredibly quick and easy to set up. So if you're looking to access your home media server from anywhere in the world when you're away from your home network, I definitely recommend that you check Tailscale out. So that's all I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you in the next one.